normal types of activities might look like, you know, attending to who's represented in decision making and whose voices are really reflected in the management and the planning of park and recreation spaces. And really just making sure that your organization as a whole throughout everything that you do supports, you know, people feeling welcome, feeling like they belong. And that's both internally, like within your organization, as well as externally, you know, when you think about your stakeholders, your visitors, the folks that are coming to your programs, your events, your facilities. biggest thing when we think about marketing and public relations is being authentic. All too often we see organizations touting that they're diverse, they're equitable, they're inclusive, but if you're not doing the work internally as an organization and you don't have the equitable management through your practices, your policies and programs, then your efforts probably aren't going to be that successful. So I think it really goes hand in hand with your having equitable and inclusive management leads to being able to market your programs, your facilities much more authentically and much better in a way that's probably going to be more effective. Thinking about the inequities that exist in our access to quality park spaces, we often see that park quality varies across racial and socioeconomic lines. And a lot of that comes back to the history of disinvestment in those spaces over time. But when we think about the role that stewardship can really play in improving the quality of our spaces, you know, having a dedicated group of people stewarding a space, that can really help that setting be safer, it can be more welcoming to folks, and really just be an overall better space to use if it's taken care of. It's like we all want to, you know, be in spaces that feel comfortable and feel good, and a space that's taken care of can help us to really create that environment. It's really, really important to take a data-driven approach to understanding what the obstacles are, how to facilitate more equitable use, and how to get the resources to make changes in your organization, whether that's through your facilities, your staffing, and your overall management policies to make that happen. And so when I say, you know, understanding the obstacles, talk to the members of your community, talk to your stakeholder groups, because if you don't understand the obstacles, how are you gonna address them? And having data in hand can help you get the political will and the resources to make that happen. It takes intentionality to manage spaces that are diverse, equitable, and inclusive, and that address these longstanding environmental injustices. There's been intentional discriminatory practices that have gotten us to where we are today. And so solving the issue needs to be intentional as well. Rec Management is an awesome program that really sets you up for success in the field. I think we all understand the importance of recreation and the impact that it can have on our communities. And when you think about you know, a career path you want to take, you want it to be something you're passionate about. You know, you're going to spend a significant portion of your life working. Why not have it be something you absolutely love and align with the things you care about?